Happy New Year, folks. It's that time of year where we all hear about New Year's resolutions and we want to make a change, but let's talk about the other end of that. Let's talk about keeping the New Year's resolution because that's the hard part. You know, for many years I was a member of a local gym and one thing we can count on every year is that in January that gym was going to fill up again and three weeks later it would clear out. You could bank on it and we would joke about it every year. Here they come and then there they go. But what is it about the new year that makes us want to do a, a makeover or do-over, something different about our lives? I don't think it really matters why we do it or when we do it. I think what really matters is that we take the step of self-reflection. We're willing to objectively look at ourselves and see how can I be a better professional, better personally, better husband, father, son, daughter. It really doesn't matter, but what matters is our willingness to look at ourselves as imperfect beings and willing to change. That alone is cause for celebration. And it's the first step toward reaching some level of self-fulfillment. The next step is a hard part. It's the action step. That is not just reflecting on what I want to do differently, but taking the steps to get there. And the third step of a three-step process is maintenance. That's the hardest step because that involves keeping up with doing whatever we're doing to try to improve ourselves or make ourselves better. That's where many of us fall down. But we have to keep in mind that we are imperfect beings. You know, one of the things that I like to remember is a great quote, and that is that at some point you have to stop waiting to become the person you want to be and start being that person. Well, this is a great opportunity to do that. But when we start to slip up, we have a misfire, and we lose track of what we're doing or we lose our, our motivation, just circle back. It's okay to fall off track or have a mistake or a misfire or even take a little bit of break. As long as we come back and reflect on why we were making that change, it'll help get us back on track and we can keep the process moving forward. And with that, I'd like to say good luck and Happy New Year. I'm Joe Shiroki, CEO of Alta Care Group, and it's going to be okay.